Where does filler go when it dissolves? Well, great question. Uh, I recently interviewed Dr. Master. You can check that out on YouTube. This is a full interview with a radiologist who's been scanning patients with dermal filler and answering that exact question. The interesting thing about that is it doesn't just gradually fade away. I know that the model uh, many manufacturers would push is that you put the product into the skin and it gradually just fades away until it's gone. The reality seems to be something really different, which I, it seems to me by looking at some of the results that he's got that there's much more of a sense of it diffusing rather than disappearing in a certainly some people. Now, some people it disappears, absolutely. There are those people who break it down and it's gone in six months, but it's it seems to be more than 50% who have some sign of the filler still there even two or three years later. And I don't know exactly which products they are because it's hard for us to talk about that. In Australia, you can't talk about product names at all. Um, but I can tell you that there's there's a sense that it it's more of a diffusion, certainly with many products, than it is of it completely disappearing. And that's really important because it changes what you do over the long term. It means that there might be occasions where you need to do a bit of dissolving yourself in order to get the shape that you really want. And it means some of the complaints patients bring back might be because of long lasting effects of dermal filler rather than actually aging. So tear troughs is a great example. People complain of an eye bag seven years after a dermal filler treatment. It could actually be dermal filler that's accumulating a bit more moisture as the product slowly fragments. Um, and then you're actually getting water accumulation instead of fat accumulation. You can't tell that easily by looking at it, but it's dissolvable. So we do need to answer this question. The, the difficulty is it's much more complex than what the manufacturer says. A percentage of people will keep will retain it for years. It moves or diffuses slightly. And then there's also a percentage of people who it just completely dissolves in a few months, depending, I think, on the concentration of their own endogenous hyaluron days, because we all actually have that in our body. We have the enzyme that breaks it down just in different levels and in different tissues. So yeah, it's a complex question. Um, I'm not going to give simple answers. I could just say six months or nine months or 12 months, but that's not the truth. The truth is it's more complicated and you need to know that if you're going to do, be doing treatments on patients long term. The filler that actually does break down is going to, is basically is a, it's a short chain sugar. So your body will deal with those small fragments of sugar as it would deal with anything. They'll likely get metabolized uh, within your liver and excreted through your kidneys. Um, if they're if they're the right type of sugar to go that way, or used for other things, they might be turned into other things when they're metabolized. So um, effectively, they will disappear. They certainly don't accumulate anywhere in your body um, other than where they were placed initially. So um, very safe because they're essentially sugar. That's true for hyaluronic acid dermal product dermal fillers.